Hello everyone, welcome back to Beamerhead. In this video the interior of the E46 gets sorted. As you can see, there's a lot of dust from the bodywork that was done on this car. I didn't care that much to protect the inside of this car since I was gonna do that anyway. You can tell that this dash trim is held in place with uh, tape and that's just not okay. It can be fixed and it will be, but if you don't have the proper tools, just buy replacements. You can find them used in good condition for cheap. The driver's seat is really dirty, but that's to be expected. This car is almost 20 years old. Once the front seats are out of the car, you can really see how dirty this interior is. And I don't know about you, but every time I buy a used car, I like to deep clean everything. You should make this a habit. Because not only that you will feel a lot better knowing that the place you're sitting in is clean, but also to avoid bad smells and bacteria floating around in your car. This back seat did not look that bad. Of course, there was a lot of dust from the bodywork, but look how much dirt is coming out of this seat. Isn't that satisfying knowing you got all that nastiness out of your car? Look how much better the front seats look now, 20 year old car and they look so good. The carpet was bad, but it's clean now. There's not much light right now, but later in the video you will see how much better everything is. These plastic bits were just a little bit dusty, but they needed some attention as well. that the seats are back in the car and everything looks so fresh, it's time to take care of the dash and door trims. They are placed at eye level so having them looking good is gonna make a huge difference to the interior of this car. In order to keep that original look, I've decided to just clear coat them. For a long lasting finish I applied fur coats and they look 10 times better now. There are still some minor scratches visible but I'm okay with that. If you want to completely restore these, you can also use one coat of black paint before the lacquer. I didn't do that because those small scratches add character to this old BMW.
think that they lift up the interior in a subtle way, which is good. And since I'm all about original, or as close as possible to the original, I think this was a really good thing to do. And that's easy and cheap, also something I like. If you haven't seen the first video on this car, this is how it was when I got it. You can also watch the entire series on this car by clicking on the playlist I've detached in the top right corner of this video. The bootlet got replaced, the rust got fixed, new set of wheels, although not the correct set for this car, still much better than these ones, and much more. Under the hood there was oil everywhere, the engine was overheating and some parts were missing altogether. Now are you ready for the final look? Here you go. I'm just gonna shut up for a bit and let the car speak for itself. Because this car was diagnosed with bad head gasket, the price was low. I paid $800 for it, and about $200 in parts, not including the wheels, but let's say about $300 for those wheels, even though I had them from my E90, so it actually costed me nothing. I'm not sure how to price the labor that went into this project, so I won't. All in for me, this car was a total expense of $1300. And after just one week on the Facebook marketplace, the car sold for $3050. And I have to be honest, I was sad to see it go. But with over $1700 profit that I got, I was smiling all the way to the bank. This entire transformation took about 30 days, but it could have been about 15 days, if I was not that busy with other cars as well. That's all for this video, and for this series. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm not planning on getting another one soon, because I'm going through the process of relocating to US. I'm really happy about that. Hopefully I will be done with all that by the end of March. In the meantime I will focus on bringing you guys the latest update from BMW, and some content around my BMW E90. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.
If you want to keep up with the latest BMW news, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.